friends, welcome back. My name is Adele if you are new and today I'm doing another Real Talk video. Please ignore the background. I'm in the process of moving. Today is actually my last full day in my apartment. I'm moving tomorrow. Uh, so this is actually going to be the last video with like this background except like the like camp vlogs because I'm still in the process of filming those. Those are still going to be going up random times. Also my tripod broke so it's I've got it stacked up on books right now so it might be a weird angle so sorry about that. Anyway today I'm doing another Real Talk video and I'm pretty excited about this one. I mean I'm excited about all of them but like this one I've struggled with for my entire life and I it sucks. Today I'm going to be talking about the very damaging thinking of well, I'll finally be happy when this happens, or when I do this, then everything will be perfect. I do this all the time. I am always like, well, if only this happens, then I'll finally, like, feel great. I'll finally, like, have that happiness that I've been looking for. I have dealt with this my entire life. Like, it's probably one of the biggest things that I struggle with. I've always been looking forward to the next stage of my life or this next thing that's gonna happen because, like, then I'll finally be happy. Like. In high school, middle school, it was always like, when I finally get a smartphone, an iPhone, and I'll be popular. When I finally get a car and get my license and I'll have it all. When I finally move out of my parents' house and go to college. I remember thinking that college was gonna be this big deal. I was gonna like blow up and like, I was gonna be super awesome and stylish and like, just have it all figured out. And as a college graduate, that is not the case. Even like first year of college when I was living in the dorms, I was like, I'm finally in college, but it's not what I was expecting. I'm not getting that happiness that I was looking for, you know? Well, maybe when I finally get an apartment, when I finally move out of the dorms, or, you know, when I finally graduate college, then I'll have it figured out. And it never happens because happiness is fleeting. That's a joke, but that's what it teaches you to do or teaches you to believe. This is just such a negative mindset that really does teach you that like, happiness is fleeting or like happiness You'll only be able to find that happiness in this stage of your life and it doesn't let you realize what's going on now. It really just sets you up for disappointment. It's like it makes you wait for happiness while you're like ignoring everything that's going on right now. Even now, you know, I've graduated college, I'm about to move out of my apartment and into my own house and I'm still like, well, you know, when I get married, when I start a family, when I have kids, then this will happen. Then I'll finally have it all. And it's like, I'm just setting myself up for disappointment because I've, it's like I've been chasing happiness my whole life and forgetting that there are so many things going on in my life right now that are sources of happy and they're making me happy. I think I just attribute like achieving my goals and this happiness and all this stuff to like those future things because I have this like dream life for myself in my head and it doesn't always, you know, come true and it, it doesn't and that's not a bad thing, <laughs> but holding on so much to what that ideal picture in your head is, that's what's negative. Because you'll be like, you'll be in one stage of your life, because I, I feel like I think of my life in like stages or like eras where I have like distinct like things I liked, my goals, what I was wanting, my personality kind of in a way. And then like the next stage and in every single stage i'm like wishing for what is happening in the next stage and ignoring everything that's going on in this one that i'm in and then i get to the next stage and i'm like hmm well it's not as great as i thought so maybe in the next stage and i'm like ah. and i'm not saying i'm an expert on this i'm not this is less of a video of like helping you and more of a i need to talk about it and hopefully some people will relate to me because I still very much struggle with this. Basically everything that I talk about in these like real talk videos, I am not an expert. I do not have it all figured out. I have zero things figured out. And I, with that, it kind of feels like, you know, when you're a kid and you're like, well, at this age, I'll have everything figured out. I'll finally have it all figured out. I have no clue what I'm doing right now. No idea. I'm like, probably the biggest mess that I've ever been. That's not true. 14 years old and 18 years old. I was pretty messy. I'm gonna say 18. When I was 18, that was probably the messiest year. But like, I always see older people and I'm like, well, they've got it all figured out. They have everything, you know, they know what they're doing. When I get to that age, I'll know what I'm doing. No clue. Not true at all. I've always been so focused on the future and 
I think that can be a great thing, but to an extent, I feel like it can be very damaging. And I definitely feel like throughout my life I have surpassed <laughs> that damaging threshold because I'm always thinking about the future. I'm always thinking about what's next. And even now when I'm acknowledging it and acknowledging that it's bad and that I should not do that, it's hard and I still do it. I think I have gotten better in some respects, but there are still some things that I could do better at. And I don't think that like thinking about the future is a bad thing at all. Again, like I said, it's to like, it's to a certain extent. I just hate the way it makes me feel. I hate the way, you know, it makes me feel when I sit here and I'm thinking about all this future stuff and I'm worrying about it so much too. And then I acknowledge it and I think about it and I'm like, why? Like, why can't I think about what's going on right now? Why can't I be in the present? Because I, that is so hard for me, like being in the present. I, it's so hard for me for some reason. It's like I want to be anywhere but here right now. I don't know what any of this stems from. I've just, I don't know. I, I just always thought about the future my whole life. I've always thought about the next stage. I remember st even from like middle school, I was like, I can't wait to go to college. I was always like in high school or not even high school, just throughout all of my school, I've always been like a very like overachiever, like straight A's student. And I had been looking at colleges since I was about in sixth grade, which is crazy young. Cause I think about that now. I have a brother who is going into seventh grade, I think. And he's not thinking about any of that. And I, I look at like a ch like children right now and I'm like, thank God you're not thinking like I was. Cause I was so focused on like the next thing. And it was like, and I don't think there's anything wrong about with like thinking about college. That's not what I'm saying. I mean like an 11 year old should not be like trying so hard to get into college. I was always like, watching YouTube videos of like college tours and college vlogs and what's in my backpack and like all that like stuff like I was obsessed with like college for a big part of my life well you know for being 20 and even saying that like I'm 20 years old well I'm gonna be 21 in literally like five days but still I don't feel nearly as accomplished as I thought I would be at this age which is terrifying, <laughs> but also like, it's, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that actually. That's probably gonna be another video. Time is so weird. I hate thinking about time because it just makes my brain like freak out. I just wish I could stop thinking so much about the future. Not even like in a bad way. It's not even that I'm sitting here like worrying about the future, even though I do do a large portion of that, but it's just like little things like, I'll be on Pinterest, oh my god, I love Pinterest, but I use it to like look at houses and look at wedding dresses and wedding rings and pictures of babies and I'm like, you're 20 years old, you need to stop. And like, I don't even want that right, like I don't want babies right now, but I can't stop thinking about like the future, like what am I gonna name my kids? And like, you don't care that much about this, like why are you, I, it's like I obsess over it. I, I obsess over the future because I feel like I can't control my present. Oh. That was good. Can I get an amen? There it is. I literally just psychoanalyzed myself. <laughs> feel like I can't control my present. So I'm thinking so much about the future. Wow. I basically I'm saying again, I'm not an expert. I don't have this all figured out. I want to start trying to change my mindset and trying to change it from like when I do or like when I finally get married, I can blah, blah, blah. And more like, what can I do now? You know what I mean? Like, what are the opportunities going on around me right now? What are the sources of happiness in my life right now? Basically, I just really want to stop trying to attribute, like, happiness to people and, and things in my life and more to, like, experiences and, like, the feelings that I'm feeling in the moment. It's just a lot. You know what I mean? There's so much, so much going on. I don't know what this was. It's just honestly been like one of the hardest things I've had to deal with throughout my whole life and I wanted to talk about it. Maybe some of y'all will relate, who knows. I think that's all I wanted to cover in this video, in this little Real Talk episode 3. Please comment down below if you relate to this, if you understand where I'm coming from and you go through this. And also comment down below any more topics or like ideas that you would like me to cover maybe. Anyway, that is all I have. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see y'all in my next video. Thank you.